max hair everywhere now. Who is your good boy? Apparently they like you. They well, don't me. like me. Do you want to help me with the video? Yes! He's done it again! Max, introduce the video again. Say hello. So hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video because it's gonna be a good one! Because we've got the titular antagonist, I think. I don't know. I haven't even seen the movie. It hasn't even came out here yet. From what we've seen so far, it seems to be the way that this dinosaur is gonna be the villain. You know, it's already killed Rexy in the prequel. Uh, oh, sorry, prologue. Whether that's shown in the film, I don't know. I'm assuming it's gonna have some sort of relevance because everything in it is also in the movie, like dinosaur-wise, and even that weird little locust thing that buzzes around. So, introducing a, a toy that I'm uh, cautiously optimistic for because, well, you'll see. The beautiful assistant. You didn't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> All right, give it here. Come on. Oh, no, no, it's good lord. <laughs> what do you mean I'm supposed to? You threw it. The friggin' Giga Nato Zorus. It was a jigger. I don't know. There's loads of different ways of saying it. Here it is. Um, it's, wow, it's it's so big. I'm actually pick, I can hear the reverb from the back of the box here of my voice, <laughs> and it is absolutely ginormous. It looks bigger than the others, like the T-Rex and the Carno. I mean, it's supposed to be bigger. It's a giga. Uh, and we have a look at the the back of the box. There, hold on. There you go, Whitney. Get a close up look at the stuff of all the details on this box that a team has worked on and printed out so that us, the audience and consumer, can admire. Also, if you look at that, it's got a freaking golden eye. James Bond over here. <laughs> and we can also take a look at the back of the box as well, showing a 3D render of the Giga. And uh, I think over here, this one, there it is, there, there, that's the real toy, almost the size of a child. And on the side, interestingly enough, Hyroraptor. So it's absolutely ginormous, uh, Giga. How about we waste no more time and get it out of the box? <laughs> it's the funnest part, I love this one. I get to play with knives. <laughs> you know, my nanny used to say, if you use more than three bits of sellotape to wrap a present, you're wasting. Look at this, it's just got like a random bit of sellotape <gasps> on the top there. Well guys, I've tried every conceivable possible way to uh, get this out of its packaging and I'm left with only one choice left, unfortunately. Yeah, there we go. One, two. This is the only thing that I, I don't understand with Colossals, like, when, once you put this on, there's no taking it apart again. So you just, you're left with this ginormous thing that there's nothing else you can do with. Who cares about that? Am I right? Who cares about having a house? <laughs> Up the body! Oh, get in! Yes! Oh! Oh my god! The Giga! And, ooh! Ooh, ooh, I like that! He's got like a soft rubber on his jaw! Oh, that's really cool! Like the underneath here, the whole head has this like soft, it's not like 100% like squishy rubber, but it's not like hard plastic like the rest of the uh, the model is. No, this, the head is actually like a made of a softer, softer version. Right off the bat, this thing's massive. I mean, you can kind of tell that already, right? I mean, when it comes to these Colossals, for a start, their, um, their detail is insane. Its paint job is kind of like lacking still and you've got some weird paint blemishes. Like when, if you get a close up of that arm there, like look at that arm, like here in this bit, you've got like white residue on there. You have to rub that off. You can't, look, that's paint. I think that's intentional. Look at his is, is that intentional? What? Is it intentional? It doesn't look intentional though. Like the way this is done. Okay, so Winnie's pointed out, if you look at its leg, like look at this, you've got all these weird, I mean, that kind of looks like it's, it's meant to be there, but then you've got like a lighter blemish here, which looks very odd. And then just all over, especially here. I don't know, it's almost like wet paint that has just kind of ran over. Uh, it's highly likely because even on the other leg, you've got some other uh, like blemishes up here 
of white and you've got a lot of scars on this thing. There's scars everywhere on this. It's almost like this thing was bred for battle or it's been in loads of fights. We don't really know the story of the Giga in Jurassic World Dominion. Take a closer look at the head, for example. Uh, on that side, you've not got too many scars. I mean, you've got scars on the nose here. You've got a scar under the chin. And then if we flip it around on the other side, you've got even more scars. You've got like two deep scars there. Uh, and if you just follow like the length of the body, um, you've got what well, you might think are wrinkles, but they're actually just scarred. The whole Giga is scarred throughout its entire body. Maybe this is why Colin Trevorrow called it the Joker. You want to know how it got those scars, I guess. I don't know. Colin, what are you smoking, my friend? <laughs> this thing is too big. It's ginormous. So that's probably as tall as it'll go. I do, however, like the way the teeth intersect. And just like all the other ones, you can just shove loads of things down its gum. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but hey oh, there you go. And it has a little thing on the underneath. Yeah! Hello! Right, so mo the majority of this is just hard plumbing plastic. Just hard plastic. However, these uh, spines in the middle are, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them are soft. I mean, for the amount of money that you pay for this, there should be more, like you should be able to get more for this. What you're paying for really is if you look at its head, it's Giga, it's the eye. That's where they spent all the money. It's on the bling bling eye. How much did this cost? Oh, I don't know, I haven't got- Nobody knows how much this cost, it's fine. <laughs> it's expensive, but for the money that you're paying, it doesn't even have its painted toenails. Look at that. Its toenails aren't even painted. Pass me the black. I'm sick of this. Every time I, I, I go off about one of these friggin' colossal toys, they never paint the bloody fingernails. All right, sod it. I'm gonna fix this. Let's do a little bit of modern. We'll get some gray, we'll get some black because its actual color is not completely black. If I paid this much money, I'm not gonna have you stand there without your toenails painted. Any bit of Mechanicus standard gray. Actually, you probably need a lot to be fair. Wet the brush, everybody! Look at the difference. The difference in that toe. Like, zoom in on that foot, Whitney. Look at that. Two seconds that took me. And it looks so much better. Be proud of your new makeover. You now actually have toenails. Fingernails and actually right colored toenails, I'm assuming. So basically, I just matched that up with one part administratum gray, three parts just like a Citadel Black. Simple as two thin coats, yes. It didn't need any primer or anything and probably things are gonna chip, I would assume. Like some paint's gonna chip with it, play and whatnot. But just, just a little bit, it just makes it pop so much more. I don't know what else I can say about it. Paint the nails, damn it, Mattel. Stop making me have to do that. So this isn't the first Colossal that we've had. No. Oh no. So, how about we compare it to the other bloody giant ones as well? So starting with this one that actually for some reason does have painted ah! toenails. The toast. Kind of colossal thingy majiggy. It's like I've got some bazookas. You want some of me? But at least the uh, colossal Carnotaurus actually had painted toenails. And speaking of friggin' painted toenails, the first, I think it was, colossal freaking T-Rex. Oh god, I think, is it actually the biggest? It might actually be the longest. I'm not exactly sure. The Giga is actually a tiny bit bigger. Not that it really makes much of a difference when things are this ginormous. What are these? I don't even know. I feel like I'm playing with a giant version of a toy. You know, like an actual giant version of a toy. Like. His fingers as big as my head. Whether or not it's actually a colossal, or, or God knows what, the friggin' Apatosaurus, who I think is actually supposed to be like legacy size? I don't think it's part of this colossal range because, well, you can't really get much in that head, can you? <laughs> 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 like what, what even, what is this shot? <laughs> Hello, bye man. The, the fact that I've got, what, what, three arguably legacy, but then we've even got the Brachiosaur back there, who's even taller than all this, 
and I don't have the blue. And the Mosasaur, I don't actually have because I, I kind of gave that away actually. I don't have all of the Colossal. Where are you supposed to put these if you're supposed to collect them all? What I genuinely want to know what people do once like their kid's done with the, the Colossal. Like what do you do with it? I mean, I guess it would make for a really cool painting project, but not everyone ha wants to paint stuff. Look at the little Apatosaurus. He's such a cutie, such a special boy. I don't even know how to start this bit. Don't know where I've cut off. Anyway, Giga, Colossal, kind of crazy, very expensive, very big. We will no doubt be getting a different kind of Giga in the coming future that will, you know, be a lot smaller. We'll probably have action features, make noise, stomp, eat things, shake its tail and its head, all that sort of thing. Unless you really want the Giga and you don't have any other Colossals, I can't really recommend it. If that, if you fit that criteria, then yes, go get it. Unless you've got a mansion and huge amounts of space, I, I don't, I, I can't really suggest. The fact that even the toenails that we, we seem to have right from the T-Rex and the toast, but then we're completely missing on the Giga for whatever reason, leading me to have to actually paint it myself. So thank you, Whitney, for helping with that. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, let me know what your thoughts are on the Colossal range at this point in time, because they don't seem like they're going anywhere, and they're absolutely ginormous. So until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye. All right, where do we put this then? And file him under B1N. B1N. Bid! No! Ready? Jesus. <laughs> Don't. Oh, no! <laughs>